Today in Xbox Cloud News, we have an update revolving around the potential ability of being able to stream your own games on Xbox Cloud Gaming, but before diving into that, let's quickly take a look at the games coming to Game Pass real soon that are cloud enabled. And up first is Metal Slug Tactics, an explosive return to this beloved franchise with a new dynamic tactical RPG twist. You'll have to grab your weapons, assemble your squad, and conquer the battlefield to defeat the infamous Rebel Army. Genuinely excited about this one as a Metal Slug fan, and I can't wait to see the roguelike elements that have been introduced to the game to really make replayability a huge factor. There also seems to be a ton of content with 110 handcrafted maps, 20 different mission types, as well as 36 different weapons and 176 different weapon mods. Not to mention, you also get to choose between 9 iconic characters from the entire series to create the perfect team. Something about how this game looks just really brings me back to those Advance Wars days and I cannot wait to check it out with that Metal Slug twist. You can expect it to arrive November 5th on Game Pass Ultimate, PC Game Pass, and Cloud. But if you're still left craving some chaotic action, then Goat Simulator Remastered's got you covered. This is the chaotic sandbox experience that's more beautiful than ever before, with updated graphics, every DLC, and more bugs than you can shake a goat at. I mean, the developers themselves have even stated that this is the remaster that no one even asked for. Can't say I've ever played this franchise before, but I would be lying if I tried to deny its success. If anything, Goat Simulator was a trendsetter in really starting and kicking off that whole simulator trend that is pretty much everywhere now. So if you're looking to just have a bunch of chaotic fun in a sandbox open world, you can start playing this November 7th. But let's say you want to take to the skies in an even bigger open world. Well then, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 will be here for you. You'll get to explore the world with the largest fleet of aircraft and take simulators simulation to new heights while pursuing the aviation career of your dreams. Microsoft Flight Simulator is a staple in the simulation genre, one that's been long running and one that's been highly successful. Known for how beautiful and intricate its systems are, this game is definitely a big one for the fans of flight simulation. Once again, not a series I'm particularly invested in, but one I know plenty of people have poured thousands of hours into, and undoubtedly is going to be one of the bigger releases of this year. At the end of the day, it's great to see that this title will be available to stream starting November 19th. Now it is worth pointing out that the following titles will be leaving November 15th. That includes Dicey Dungeons, Dungeons 4, Like a Dragon Ishin, Like a Dragon the Man Who Erased His Name, Persona 5 Tactica, and Somerville. So if you're mid-run on one of those titles, you now know your deadline. But now let's move on to the last bit of news and that revolves around an update on the potential ability of being able to stream your own games on Xbox Cloud Gaming real soon. Last week we reported that this feature may come into fruition this month, initially through Xbox Insider testing and then following with the rest of the rollout. Earlier today, the Xbox support page included a segment on streaming own games not included within Xbox Game Pass. It stated that you can stream select cloud playable games you own that are not included with Game Pass Ultimate directly to some devices including Samsung Smart TVs, Amazon Fire TV devices, and supported VR headsets with the Xbox app or to supported smartphones, tablets, and PCs at xbox.com play. Now from what I can tell, it does appear that this listing has been taken down for the time being, but it does seem to indicate that this is rolling out real soon. If I had to take a guess, I wouldn't be too surprised to hear something within this week, whether it's more of a full rollout or just Xbox Insider testing. I was honestly a bit surprised it didn't come out along with the news of the new games joining Game Pass, but chances are that they're adjusting a few things here and there still. Either way, this is a feature that's been long time requested and I know a lot of you are very excited to hear. Now I will point out, based on wording alone, it doesn't seem that every single game will be available to stream. In fact, they specifically say select cloud playable games you own, not every game you own. Much like I thought, this is probably going to come down to publisher decision making much like GeForce Now does. This could be due to licensing issues or just publishers not wanting their games on cloud services for some weird reason. But regardless of the fact, I do think it's a big step forward for cloud gamers everywhere because this does apply more pressure for publishers to start embracing cloud gaming. It should be no secret that there are just plenty of us out here who want to enjoy the games via the cloud the way we want to play. Hopefully that message comes out loud and clear to all major publishers out there. Rest assured though that I will update you all with any news that drops between now and then on anything Xbox related when it comes to streaming your own games, this is a huge feature for many of us out here. That's all for now though, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well.
As always, thanks for watching. This has been Steven at Anytime Anywhere Gaming, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.